Plug. Well, uh, the Bay Area, of course, is blanketed with quake faults, and even the smallest movements can potentially help scientists target the next big earthquake. Mark Tamayo has more on the group trying to measure these tiny movements. 180.00157. Jonathan Pauley is measuring the smallest movements on the Hayward Fault. As a graduate student at San Francisco State, he's working with the USGS on the Creep Project. Creep is the movement occurring on a fault, and the group measures it every weekend. Their readings may help seismologists pinpoint earthquake probability across the Bay Area. The research team visits various locations, various faults across the Bay Area. I had the chance to visit them here in El Cerrito on Thor's Bay Road. This is where we do find the northern section of the Hayward Fault. Now their workstation is set up right about here. This happens to be on the eastern side of the fault. They're looking at some observed point directly in front of them, but it is on the other side. Now the thinking is, as the fault moves, so will this observed point. They're tracking those changes. And now I'm standing on the western side of the Hayward Fault. The group is looking at this point specifically to see how it has changed or moved since their last visit here. The movement of this one point gives them a better idea of the movement of the northern Hayward Fault. Um, we had a reading of 4.29 millimeters. Over 4 millimeters. That was the measured creep along the Hayward Fault since January. The group will move to another location and another fault next weekend. Mark Tamayo, Cro